Hello, welcome to a short video. Um, today I received a package from Actinius and Actinius is a manufacturer for hardware solutions, building cellular connectivity, IoT stuff, things like that. And they have this super impressive um, development board called the Icarus or Icarus IoT board. And it comes with a Nordic NRF. This is exactly inside the box here and I've been waiting um, so long finally to get one of these. Um, so let's unpack it. Um, yes, there we go. We got a very cool quick start guide here, which says everything that we need to do and which we are going to do in a couple of seconds, next segments. And there it is. This is the Icarus Icarus IoT board and it comes with LTEM and the IoT. Um, and GPS. This all is possible because of this module here, which is the NRF um, 9160. And it has GPS, um, LTE, so LTE CAT M1 and NB-IoT embedded. Um, the board itself comes with the, or in the um, Adafruit Featherwing style. So that means you can connect to additional hardware, Featherwing hardware. It has a battery charger, a LiPo charger. I'm not sure if it has a fuel gauge, but Basically, you can do everything directly with it. Underneath, you can find a socket for a SIM card. But the coolest thing about that here is that this is the Actinius I.O. portal. It comes with a 10 megabytes prepaid SIM card, which is directly underneath that socket here. So to get you started, everything is included. So let's register a new device, select the Icarus, and we need to provide the um, email, which is hopefully that one here and the ICCD which is hopefully that one here um, let's register it I guess we now have to wait until it finally connects so let's wait a few seconds so yeah finally it's connected um, we've registered it registered it to the Actinius IO platform this is the device the device here right now we are inside the building and I've not yet connected the GPS antenna. Um, we can do that now. Uh, I also attached a battery. So that means that we will charge it and then we will take it outside. But first of all, let's connect it to Datacake, um, which is pretty easy because of the um, webhook feature they have here on this device somewhere set. So we go into Datacake, we create a new device, we select API, we want to create um, a new device, Actinius Icarus board, let's call it product. And we want to auto-generate um, a serial number because I am not sure which format they have. Um, okay, next, free plan, yes, there you go, inside the board, then we go into configuration, there's this um, URL. We are going to copy that back to Icarus um, IO platform. I think there was a webhook here. Yeah, we enabled that webhook. Um, so let's see if we already get data in here. Not yet. Yes, and we finally got some new fresh data. So now we've set up the webhook already. So if we go into data cake, into the logs, we can see there's the device. Okay, and now we also know how the device is identified over that webhook. So as you can see, this is the serial number. So we are going to take that out and paste this into the serial number field. So the serial number is now set and we can route information based on that serial number. So it seems to be standard JSON. So we are, first of all, going to parse that um, JSON information coming through our webhook. Okay, and then let's see what kind of data we have. Mm, we have the latitude, longitude, and altitude, and speed. And I'm now going to write a short decoder for that. Okay. Now the payload decoder has been created. Um, just to go through all these steps here very quickly, we are creating a location. 
that we need in the format that DataK requires to record the location. We are going to extract the serial and we are returning all this in an array with dictionaries for the actual values. So we can test that if we press on try decoder and it will bring us these informations here. So we are now going to create the fields for that called a battery, um, the speed, and of course the location, which is geolocation. Save this, we press try decoder once more, and we can see the recognized measurements and also the device here because of the routing is done based on the serial coming from the Icarus I Actinius IO platform. Okay, save it. And now I'm going to create a very quick, short dashboard where we want to have um, the map, select the device and location. I do prefer the outdoor style. Um, I'm not wanting a time range right now. And also um, value for battery voltage in that case, but also for the speed. Yep, save this once more. And now I need to place the unit outside so that we can get an active GPS signal. And I will be back in a couple of seconds. It's outside, the data is inside. <laughs> and I'm sorry, but um, as we can see, we have received data and there is also latitude, longitude embedded and other things. I think altitude as well. Um, so when we now switch to data cake, we can see the data on the dashboards in data cake and also, well, it's not moving, but it's because of the rotation um, of the earth, I think. And it's um, the battery voltage in here. So yeah, this is it. This is how we connect an Icarus, Icarus IoT board to Actinius IO, set up a webhook, bring data into data cake create a dashboard, write a super, 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 super small payload decoder. That means that I just wanted to say we did this all without any single line of code, but this isn't the truth because there were at least 26 lines of codes. But basically it's super easy to do that. We need this payload decoder to transform the data coming from Actinius IO um, into data cake. If we now would have a couple of um, Icarus, Icarus devices um, and would bring them into data cake as well. We could do that under devices, add device, select API, and we select um, an existing product. And here we've got the Icarus, Icarus, sorry, product. So we can add more Icarus boards to it simply by pressing next. Now we could um, enter the serial number from, directly from the board. And then, yeah, we're all set. That's it. Um, it's a pretty impressive board here, um, and yeah, I really like what I see here. I like their design, and I'm super happy to see what they come up with in the next releases of that. Oh, they also have my location, so now Actinius knows where I live, <laughs> but that's okay. Thanks for watching, and stay tuned.